Oh, boop, 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 boop. oh my forearm's really sore. Let me share a training technique with you. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Bam, 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 let me teach a trading technique to you. With a, with a, uh, um, oh, a, not a trading technique, um, a uh, trade management technique, all right? Trade management is all about getting in at the right time. Now, let me actually just do something really basic here. I know there's a form of it, and if you watch my other videos about peaks and troughs, you'll be able to see that. Now, guys, if I go back and I have a look at this here, let's just go to, we'll say, black. Let's just, let's just use a simple, uh, again, guys, I know there's, I know there's more trends than this, but let's just look at a simple uptrend, high peaks and high troughs, and a simple downtrend, low peaks and low troughs, right? That's a simple uptrend, simple downtrend. I know we have sideways trends as well too, and that that uh, that obviously forms the markets, and you have channels up, channels down. There's a whole, there's a couple of different ranges, all right? But generally it's up, down, or sideways. Um, so, so knowing that, okay, knowing that with the peaks and troughs, this is a simple, simple technique. For you guys to follow, and if you've been watching my silver updates, you see how I use the silver in exactly like this. So a trade technique, a trade technique simply means, trade management technique says this. It says that uh, if the market is rallying up to make high peaks, higher troughs, then the most highest probability is on the longest leg side. So what I mean by that is this, is if, if I actually look at this this here, if I actually look at this, if I look at this uptrend, where is the longest legs on this uptrend? Is it to the downside or to the upside? We have the longest leg here, the longest leg here, the longest leg here. So, knowing that, knowing that, a trade management technique would simply tell you, okay, well, if that's the case, well, you will you will only be trading, you will only be trading in the underlying direction of where the most most longest legs. are. Ah, the reason why is because we are trying to put ourselves in a situation where we, where we can be on the right on the on the on the trend side on the on the biggest trend or on basically the um, yeah the trend side. But what we're also doing, what we're also doing, is uh, what we're also doing is when you are reading the charts and when you're trying to read the charts, what you're also doing is you're trying to you're trying to you're trying to you're trying to maximize your profits by minimizing your losses, um, and so you have more of a ch and so remember it's all about probability game, right? It's all about probability. So you want to be buying in you want, you want to be getting in. Say you want to be buying the market or buying options or whatever. Well, you want to get in as the, uh, you want to get in as the market has started to rise, or you want to be getting in on the legs that had the that have the big that have the, uh, the, the the strongest legs in that move. Is it down or is it up? Hence, we have an uptrend. More likely, the legs, uh, the strongest legs, are going to be to the upside. So you'll jump on those legs to the upside. Does that make sense? Because remember, we one we want to we want to have the probabilities on our side, so we want to go with the overall trend. Secondly, we want to have a situation where we can cut our losses short. And thirdly, we want a situation where we can let the profits run a little bit more so we can have a three, four to one risk ratio. Four profit to one risk. So, and if the market's going down, where are the longest legs? The longest legs are obviously down leg here, down leg here, and down leg here. So, I know this is a very, very simple format, but whenever you're looking at the charts, I'm trying to see what's happening here. I'm trying to see, and then I'm trying to time my way in on this. Now, guys, Whenever you are trading the markets, whenever you're viewing the markets, and whenever you understand that, okay, um, well, understand that, I don't mean, when I say jump in on the trend, I don't mean wait for the market to run up through here. I don't mean, I don't mean wait for the market to run up through here, wait for the market to run up a lot and then get in. Because guess what's likely to happen if after the market runs up a lot? So I can have a pullback. It's just the way the markets work. And then the market runs up. See, a lot of people wait for the market to run up and they start jumping in here and it goes up a little bit and it's like, oh, I told you I was right. And then it comes back down and it stops them out. 
And then guess what? Guess, guess what happens a couple weeks later? Then the market runs up a bit, and then the, and then they're jumping in here. This is where most pe most traders are jumping in. You don't want to be jumping in after the. If you're looking for a, if you're looking for a long entry, ask yourself: Have we already had a big move in this direction without decent pullback? If the answer is yes, like you've seen in my Bitcoin videos, then you will be able to say, you know what? This is not a good trade. This is not a good trade for me. I need to wait for a decent pullback first, and be patient. Don't be fear, all right. Don't be fearful with the, don't be fearful with with the way you're trading because that alone will it'll it'll just destroy the way you're trading there. So don't jump in on those legs. And the same for the downside. The market's already run down a lot. Don't be jumping in here, going short and going short here and going short here, right? You want to time your way in properly. And so first thing is that first thing you want to make sure that you're trading with the overall overall trend. But secondly, if the market's already ran up a lot. It has more high probability of pulling back before it runs up. So think about that. If the market's already run up a lot and you're trying to jump in, the market has more of a high probability of pulling back before it runs on because that's how the markets work. So this is a trading, uh, a trade management technique that I like to use in the markets to really, really, really help you move forward. I'm not going to BS you here. Trading is hard. Over my 10 years of trading, I've learned some amazing systems and strategies, and I've put it all in my brand new Grab the Markets by the Balls course, and I'm giving you 100% free access. This whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.